We're a family-owned company. My great-great-grandfather came to Milwaukee in 1848 as a metal worker. My grandfather was a metal worker, my father was a metal worker, and I guess Russ is in my blood. Eighty-five percent of our business is architecturally based. Um, components for handrail systems, fences, um, decorative components. Uh, we do make custom handrailing systems. Uh, latest product line includes uh, lit handrail. The other 15 or 20 percent of our business is industrial product. PSI is, is, is a statewide initiative uh, that was started back in 2009 by the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation. With WMP as the lead, we're able to introduce key resources to organizations in the area of energy efficiency, environmental gains, uh, logistics and transportation, and, and project financing. The story is that we didn't know what we didn't know until uh, we hired the Mike Skelton, who was familiar with WMEP, and he encouraged us to become involved and to learn what WMEP could do for us. WMEP brought a team of experts here to Wagner, and we looked at all aspects of our business and how they pertain to sustainability. We looked at the, the basic things, electrical usage, water usage, but we also looked at packaging, transportation, uh, manufacturing processes. So we got a chance to uh, look at sustainability in a whole different way. When we started to brainstorm ideas, uh, we, we, we came up with our water jet process being a high user of electricity, water, and then the material it uses is a garnet material. So with all the consumables used in the water jet process, we decided to see if there was an alternative there. We uh, came to the conclusion that a fiber laser would really benefit Wagner. And what it has done is it has uh, increased our material utilization by 15%. So we're using 15% less raw material versus what the water jet would. We're using less electricity, less water. And then the last thing it did was the byproduct of a water jet is the, the garnet. We put 132,000 pounds of garnet in the way, in landfill annually. This has eliminated that completely. It is four to five times on average faster on parts. So this is gonna allow us to increase our business by decreasing our lead times and inventories. Small manufacturing is critically important, uh, obviously, to the competitiveness uh, of our region. The ME3 initiative is the city's sustainable manufacturing program for small and medium-sized manufacturers. Uh, one of the unique things uh, about the ME3 program is it's a partnership program, and so one of our main partners is Wisconsin Manufacturing Extension Partnership, WMEP. So WMEP brings to the table uh, their experience from the PSI initiative and their diagnostic and assessment tool. WMEP has brought knowledge to us that we had no idea just about that. The thing that stands out the most to me in, in the whole process between the PSI, the ME2, and the ME3 programs is that we're, we're starting to change the way we think about sustainability. We actually have a sustainability story here at Wagner and it's something we should be proud of. And it's also changing our culture. People are, are more aware of what we put in the landfill, what we, what we do with our waste, how much scrap we have, how we recycle our cardboard. Uh, all those things come into play now as part of our culture where they didn't before.